Hey everyone, so today we are going to be doing a pro standard tutorial on this type of card layout. We are just going to go ahead and get started and as usual, the parts that might be a little bit confusing, um, specifically like the embeds and such, I will do a voiceover doing my best to explain them. The music player is in this pasty bin here and as usual I will leave a link in the description to the website I use to download my songs and what I do is I upload them to Dropbox and I copy and paste the link at the end of the embed here and you're going to want to change www to dl and at the end dot, add dot mp3 and as for the color of the music player itself, you can change that up here. It's going to be this background gradient and the font family is emoji and similar to fonts that we'll be using in this tutorial, each letter corresponds to a specific like emoticon. So you can play around with the letters and publish the card to see which symbols it gives out and which ones you think look the best, which ones you like the most. Um, but it's this one is it's set to just be the music note. Okay, so I'm really quickly gonna talk about the embeds. I would recommend for this card, just since it's so many elements, to just have a somewhat basic knowledge of coding, specifically because like this embed is so long. And most of the stuff 
it should be set like you shouldn't have to change around unless you know what you're doing and you want to change how something looks specifically for the images though positioning might have to be altered which you can see position absolute left and top um, and just play around with the settings keep publishing the card until it looks good on your device and then obviously anything with a color code whatever theme you're doing your card you might want to change so okay hashtag probably wasn't the best but like you could see like for a text the background this is a green color if you don't want it to be green you would just look in the code and change it there and the elements in this embed are in the order that they are made in the card if that helps you figure out like what is aligned to what for this one specifically i just didn't want to make one um, code super long so here is the scroll bar code which you can um, change the color of right here and the fonts and there is a font better fly that the reference card uses but i didn't include it here because i found the pasty bin for it but whoever uploaded the font to dropbox deleted it so the font no longer works and i couldn't find an alternative um, i'm sure someone will re-upload the font eventually this is the animation for the um the two floating containers and then here are three settings specifically altered for mobile devices which again you might want to change the first one is this blue container here i just um made the width smaller so that it fit on my phone and these two here are the containers in the last section here so i made this container i um lessened the width of it and then so i could move this container over more to the left because it wasn't fitting on my mobile screen like it it's a lot wider on the computer than it is on a mobile screen if that makes sense so again um depending on how big or small your phone screen is you might have to adjust those settings as well but i put them in this embed so that they are there and easier to access than this monster of a code
This is the text that blinks and you can change the color here as well as the size and the font you're welcome to change but if you change it just make sure that you enter in the font base here below style and you're welcome to change the colors if you make them all the same color though it won't blink but if you want to have it flash like pink and blue for example just change like all the five seven hex codes to pink and all the white ones to blue just as an example and then at the very end here is where you're gonna add the text so obviously replace it with whatever you want
Alrighty, and here is what your final result should look like. As usual, if you need any help or have any questions, please let me know down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!